Hey guys, Tyler from Chrome Squad here. Today I'm going to show you how to build your own live interactive quizzes on the website Quizzes. This website has a lot of cool and intuitive features that make building quizzes for your classroom really easy. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get into making our own quiz. So before you do anything, you're first just going to want to make an account. Basically, what this is going to allow you to do is save the quizzes that you create and edit them later, and then also link your account to other applications and websites. Before looking at creating your own quiz, if that's not something you want to do, you can actually search for quizzes made by other people and edit those instead. But the main purpose of this video is to show you how to make your own quiz on this website. So to get started, you're going to click on the Create Your Own Quiz button. So after you click this button, you'll be presented with a few initial options for your quiz. You'll be able to add an image for your quiz, title it, pick the language, and then pick if you want it to be public or private. So I'm going to go ahead and start by titling the quiz. I'm going to call it Chrome Squad. And then I'm also going to add an image to the quiz. So after you click this Done button in the bottom right corner, you'll be able to start adding questions to your quiz. The right side of the screen is going to be a preview for the questions that you add, and the left side is going to be where you actually type the question. When typing a question, there are a few options on the top bar here. All of these relate to changing the color of your text, or adding subscripts or superscripts or symbols. And then on the top right, we also have the ability to change how long they will have to answer the question. Here is where you type out your question, and you also have the ability to add an image to your question. So I'm going to type out a sample question really quick and then add an image to go with it. So as you see on the right side, I can now see what the actual question will look like in a full quiz. Now let's move on to adding answer choices. So you have to add a minimum of two options. This would be like if you wanted to do a true or false question. And then you can add up to four for a multiple choice question. So let me just type out some answers really quick for the question that I typed up. Now that we've typed out all of our answer choices, we can select which one is the correct answer. On the left side of the screen, we can add a new question, we can copy the question that we've already made, or delete the question that we've made, and we can also edit the quiz info that we put in at the beginning. When you're done making the quiz, go ahead and press finish in the top right corner, and this will bring you to the final screen. The last information you'll want to put in is the grade range, the subjects, and the tags for your quiz. This is going to allow people to find your quiz easier when they're searching for quizzes to use. So now that we've filled this out, let's click Finish and Create. And as you see, we are now on the Results page for our quiz. These buttons right here, if we click this one, it allows us to see all the correct answers for our questions. This one plays all of our questions in a slideshow, and this one allows us to print our quiz out. So the final option you have for your quiz, uh, besides sharing it, is to either play it as a live quiz or make it a homework assignment. To assign it as a homework assignment, just click this button right here. Now you'll be given a game code, just like a live quiz, and you also have the option to share it on Classroom. If we go back to our quiz and we start a live quiz, we are presented with the same options, and then after we click proceed, we're presented with another game code, and you'll be able to see who joins and when. So that's all you really need to know about using quizzes. Creating interactive quizzes with this website is actually really simple and easy after you learn the basics. I hope this video helps you to effectively use quizzes in your classroom. For more tips and tricks, make sure to visit our other how-to videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.